Chatting to Gavin Smith ahead of racing on Friday. And the yards start in race one with the two runners, House of Sussex and Son of Europe. Now, both of these horses showed good improvement in their last start. And Gavin, I'm sure you'll be hoping for more. Yeah, exactly that, Nate. So, um, they've come along nicely at home and uh, um, they're doing fair work. And yeah, I'd include them both. We move to race two where we will see Sweet Cake. Now she found just one better last time out, but she's holding steady form and she should be a good contender again on Friday. Uh, she's flying at home nodes and she's just gotten stronger in herself as she's matured and uh, got more, I think, racing wise yeah. and uh, doing good work at home. A double of runners in race three, Charlie Malone, while Chase Morgine really seems to get the best out of him and he retains the ride, so Charlie should be thereabouts again. He'll be joined by Ben along point. Yeah, um, Charlie knows he's done nothing wrong, he's just got to get it together. And uh, Ben along, um, it's just got to go his way. He pulled a little bit hard last time, so I'm sure with a fair pace he's going to be running at them. Global State will step out in race four. Now he's going to try both the poly and stepping up to the mile. I think it'll suit him, Nate. So he's been around the poly and I think the mile is what he's looking for. And um, he's had a bit of time to mature. Race 5 is a busy one here. The yard will step out four horses. Donny T, he's holding a competitive form very well and he'll be joined by Tuscan Gold. Now he was a winner last time out when going gun to tape over course and distance. Both those boys are extremely well known and they took their runs well, trotted out lovely and uh, there's not much between them at home. Um, yeah, I think uh, the gap between them closes by two kgs. Um, a swing around yep. so um, I, wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't leave them out. Track and trip really suits them. And racing alongside them will be Strawberry Stinger, who was expected to need his local debut last time out, and William the First. Now, he may be slightly up in class, but he's holding very, very competitive form at the moment. Yeah, Strawberry did need the run. He's come on from that night, so he may need another one to pick up. And um, William, he's, he's doing good work at home. He's got a nice draw, mm -hmm. and he's got a weight pull on them as well. Moving to race six, Heya Fiecha Lakatol was so unlucky last time out, throughout the race in fact, and you've got a feel for him. I think he's going to be a big runner on Friday. He'll be joined by American Dream, who is at best on Polly, will appreciate being back on the surface and loves course and distance. Yeah, American course and distance suits and uh, he's doing well enough at home. He looks an absolute picture, expect him to be into the quartets and uh, the grey boy, he's just desperately unlucky last time out. Hopefully he can go one better. Now in race seven, Happy Holly, she's back from a fantastic run in the grade two debutante stakes last time out in KZN. Nadia, um, she's doing well at home. She's looking an absolute picture, but she had a, a complete break um, when we brought her back and uh, gave her a break to get over the trip and the, and the racing up there. And uh, she may just need another gallop to bring her right up to peak, but uh, she's looking an absolute picture. Now race 8 is going to be the second leg of the East Cape Poly Challenge. They step up to 1400 and behind us in shot is Kaya's dream. Great to have him back in action. Gav, the question is going to be, he's back off a lengthy break some six months. Yeah, a long, long break, Nodes, and you know, you know yourself. Mm. You can do what you need at home and you can do as much as you can at home and a race is a race. Um, but I, I will say he's had a grass gallop, he's had a poly gallop and I'm very happy with what he's doing. There you go. The prep has gone in, but as Gavin says, a race is totally different to work. We'll have to hope that uh, he's got it all that he needs in the final stages. The yard closes in race nine with Jumbo Sunna. She was a well-deserved winner last time out. It's actually the right type of field for her to be thereabouts again. Yeah, no, it's, I think yeah, she takes a little bit, a little bit more of a step up um, in competition, but she's got a lightish weight and, and she's a hard knocker. That she is. The eighth is always open. Don't leave Jumbo Sunna out.